Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Okay. Right. Uh, I actually can't control the character right now. Oh god, okay, I hit a rock. This is very difficult because I only have a second to respond before anything happens. So far so decent, I guess. That's the second rock we've hit. I'm killing the main character. I'm literally killing him right now. Oh god, what the... He's, he's fine. Surely he's fine. Oh, okay, we can... Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a tree. That's, uh, that's a tree right there. Aww. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road. The first sign of civilization. Alright. Let's have a look at this pole thing. See where we have to go. Let's Daventry go even. was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Famous fantastical floating island. All right, I'm guessing we have to go that way because it's sort of zoomed that way. Let's go over here quickly to see if we can actually go this way or not. Grandpa, you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Okay, well, I guess our mounts will find its own way home, or not home. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we've fallen on the cliff, so I guess now we have to figure out where to go. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Got a feeling we can't swim, so let's try this horn thing. What a beautiful that sound. That horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. I see. Missing a mouthpiece. Well, I guess maybe we'll go over this way. Oh, there's another guard right there. Oh, it's two guards, actually. Look how one of them was piggyback riding the other. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> right, so we're going into a forest, I guess? To find the missing mouthpiece of the horn, perhaps? Strange tracks. Blaze the trail through the forest. Looks pretty nice right there. Tra strange tracks. Okay. Oh, right. I see. Like, I guess these are tracks here. Sorry, back here as well? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Some really weird paw or, like, wheels? I don't know. It seems weird. Hey, there's a bunny there. Hello, bunny. Oh, I can't do anything with the bunny. That's a shame. I'm not even sure if that's considered a bunny, but it looked similar to... A bunny. Oh, look at that view. That is quite nice right there. Quite nice indeed. Right. Let's. Oh, what is that? That doesn't look like a mouthpiece, but it's something. Can I knock on this tree? No, maybe from down there. I'm not sure. Oh, that's another tree. Oh, what the? Can we go this way as well? Oh, we can. Okay. Well. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we can. Okay, well, let's go over here first. Let's find out what that thing is. Hello. Oh, <laughs> they move really weirdly. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. That's, um, that's a good question. That's never going to happen, is it? Oh. <laughs> Hats every time. Oh, there's still something in there. What is that? Shame. 
The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. <laughs> okay. I love his cape. He just buries things in there. It's great stuff. Right, so we've got a hatchet. No clue what we're going to be using it for. Apparently not for smashing into everything. Alright, let's jump across here. Let's follow the rabbit. Uh, the... <laughs> rabbit. Let's follow the frog. Oh, there's a wheel here. That we wheel take that? seem freshly broken. It does indeed. Well, whether it's freshly broken, I'm not sure, but it does seem broken indeed. Um, but yeah, frogs say rabbit. That's why I guess I said rabbit. Also, I saw a rabbit earlier, so... Anyway. Who, who's this? Hello. Good day. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Yeah. Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Or a... Oh, oh. Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> that guy's great. Could you repeat that? Are you kidding me? Um... I, I feel like this guy would have been voiced amazingly by Robin Williams had he still been with us. And if he actually did video game characters, which I don't think he ever did. But it would have been pretty sweet if he had voiced this character. Anyway, can I just could you repeat? I want to see how what he says if I do that. Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridges out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament. All right. I guess we'll get right on that, sir. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! Ah, of course. You've strapped a horn to their heads, and now they're unicorns, I see. Right. Uh, this tree is conveniently placed where we might be able to cross. Perhaps Let's find out. wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. Well, How did I you get across that river? I guess it works out that we happen to have this hatchet here. Oh, what's it? You're five money. Okay, the only money to my name. All right, let's use the hatchet for using responsibly. <laughs> oh, all right. I can spam A with the best of them. I swear it. There we go. Let's make our way across, shall we? Ooh. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? I love me a good pun, personally. I'm a big fan of the whole puns. Right, let's, uh, what is, what is that? Hello? Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! <laughs> Can I perhaps use my hatchet on it? Oh, here we go. No! I did not use the hatchet to skin that growling animal. Oh, well, you know, it was worth giving it a try, I suppose. Another one here, is that the same thing? I... Hmm. No wheels are there. Suppose? Alright. So we're not going that way. What's up here? Oh, what... What is this? An overgrown patch 
Hey, that's that. Spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. Is that the well? The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Perhaps. Hmm. Can we chop through it? I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. An upgrade, you say? All right, we'll get right on that. I'm pretty sure, by the way, the voice actor is, uh... I can't remember his name, but Christopher something from uh, Back to the Future. I'm pretty sure that's him. I'm not 100%. Oh, okay, we made it to town, I guess. Um... But, I yeah, there's no other way to go, so I guess... I assume the door is closed. It looks like we can climb up there, though. <laughs> All right, let's climb up here then. Jump and jump and jump some more. All right, we made it. Well done on the whole jumping the thing. The square was eerily quiet. Can we open it from the side. Was I the only person in Navantry not at the parade? All right, we've opened the door. I'm not sure if that's a smart idea with those things there, but... Right, so we're now in town, I guess, huh? Oh, what is this? Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> Can I? I have nothing to say. <laughs> You'll warm up to it. <laughs> Can I water it or something? I wonder if I can use the axe on it, just out of curiosity. And then you took out your hatchet and chopped that baby tree to bits. No, no. Bad idea. Okay, I guess we're not doing that. Okay. Right, well, I guess we'll jump into some shops while we're here. Uh, I'm still looking for a wheel. I guess the blacksmith would probably be the best way to approach the situation. Maybe they can chop up a wheel like for a me. blacksmith shop of swords. There's no one here, though. Okay, well... Can I interact with anything, perhaps? Perchance. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Okay. Oh, I can use this shield. Big oh, I'm, round. I'm taking it. That should do the trick. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's our wheel. I wonder if there would have been an item of similar sort in the other shops as well. I guess we should leave a tip then. We'll be in, we'll be nice. Uh, that sign was okay, asking right. for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I guess I need to just select the coins. I decided to leave some coins for the shield. I left three coins. Okay, so I've got two bucks left. It looks like there's only two coins there, but. Maybe I can zoom in on it, but then he's gonna I go through that. The money more than oh, did. no, 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 no! Put it back. I decided to leave some right. coins for the shield. I guess it just looks like two coins, but it's probably three coins. All right. Okay. Well, I want to quickly go into the other shops as well, just to see. Okay, there's it's a bakery, and then there's like what a potion maker or something up there. Let's go into the bakery. Just have a quick look around. A ah. Bakery. And it smelled delicious. This bread, I'm, I've got a feeling, would have been the one I would have used. I didn't need to borrow yep. more than one wheel. <laughs> so, so a bread or a shield to use as a wheel, I see. And then I'm sure the potion shop's got probably something funny as well. Let's see, is there anything else I can do here, though? Not from the looks of things. Oh, here we Delectable go. Delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. What, you want to compete while starving? Uh, tip jar probably is going to say something about the tips, so I think that's all covered as well. So I guess everyone's at the parade, as he said. Which is why there's no shopkeepers and they're leaving the signs to give tips. Is there anything over here? I don't see any... Oh, wait, is this a door? No, I guess not. It's a window or some sort, I think. Well, let's go up here. Have a quick look in the... Alchemist, potion maker, something. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. It looks like the uh, the merchant we saw earlier would be the one to own this, I reckon. I could barely make out the names of these potions. While well, I was up for adventure, I didn't think randomly drinking potions was a good plan. <laughs> just imagine the stand there just chucking them all down. I don't know what this does, but 
Screw it. Ooh, a table. Would we have used that? I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Yep, we would have used the table. Wow, that's that's great. It's like a scythe on the side of your <laughs> on the side of your wheel. I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. Possibly a smart choice. What's in this cauldron? Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. Uh, nothing seemed to be brewing yet. Okay. Well, let's leave this place as well. I guess we have our wheels, so let's sort of make our way back to our good friend, the salesman. Oh, hold on. Let's. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is actually. Oh, right. Okay. Hello. Hello. Can I squeeze by you, gents? No. We are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We are on the lookout for intruders. Damn, rapscallions. They sound like they're Canadian from South Park. That's, um... That's an interesting point, by the way. <laughs> I don't think he quite understands that I'm already behind him. He's... Keeping people out from going into the shops, but I'm, I'm already here, so it doesn't make any sense. So why would you not let me through to the other side? You silly goose. Alright, let us continue on our way back to our good friend, the merchant guy. Oh my... The fucking... Ah, a shortcut. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> shortcut. Oh, I love this game so much already. Still something in there. All right, so back to the tree, which we will cross to our good friend, who I don't really trust right now. <laughs> he's just—I mean, he's not sketchy, but you never—you never trust really a snake eye. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to snake oil even. across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. <laughs> snake oil merchants. What I was gonna say. Hello, sir. I have a wheel for you. I guess I just pass it to you. A round shield. Here I you go. This might do the trick. A shield, eh? Cost me three no, gold coins. it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm. Just like my shorts. This is perfect. I hope you didn't pay too much for it. I actually paid more than half my fortune. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Um... That... I don't know what that is, but it looks disgusting. I've got a feeling that's either a fake ticket or... I've got a feeling that I would probably, if I needed a ticket, I would surely be able to get one some other way as well. Although it might be more expensive. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take my chances. No thanks. I'm not really interested. No thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. Yeah, that's exactly the, the point. I don't trust him. <laughs> so, that's... no thanks. The price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. How much was it before? I'll see if I can find a better way... A uh, better deal the tournament. What is the actual price? Well, what is the actual price? Well, what do you know? It costs exactly that much. Oh, Thank what? You. Fortuitous fate meeting you, my boy. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. All right, well, I guess we have a ticket, which I feel is probably not real or something, but there we go. Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, Buttercup! Don't forget about us working, folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Bye. Alright. So here are the knights. Let's greet them, I suppose. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Is it indeed? Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. 
Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I can find a way across. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Okay, well that's not gonna work then. Um, I don't have any items, do I? I could try and bribe them. Entrance Wouldn't ticket? Wouldn't entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. Okay, well that, that didn't do it then. Right, well is there, we can go down here perhaps. Let's have a look. There's a beehive in there. I guess we probably don't want to see. Okay, well, I don't think we can just jump across, can we? But, I mean, let's find Stay out what happens. Off those rocks. It's dangerous. No. I'm going in. Distress! <laughs> Abandoned post! Distress, yes. I've I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're yes. welcome, lad. He I was appreciate it. All right, let's head back over there. Oh. oh. Okay, that didn't work. Um. There's a beehive. The thing is, if I if they're standing over here and I knock that beehive into them, it would just not fall down here, wouldn't it? Well, let's. Let's try it again. Let's jump in the water. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. And then they'll save me. They'll stand next to the tree and I'll knock down a be uh, behind. Let's see if that works. <laughs> I just, that, that motion Distress! is so funny. Abandoned Distress! And, and that waddling is so great. I love this. Learn how to swim, boy. Okay, Thanks sir. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. Okay, let's, let's knock over this tree. This argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about uh -huh. the fact that I am. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Distress. Oh. Not good. <laughs> Not the bees. I like how they made a reference to that movie. Okay, so now can we talk to these fine fellas? Good day. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Okay. There's a rope here. Ooh, can I use said rope? Do I still have my bow? Oh. Well, that that works. Thanks. I guess we found our way. He's quite impressed. Oh, wait, why would you not? Okay, I guess we'll just do it ourselves. Eh. Eh. Uh, okay. Did I do that wrong? No, but I do have a rope on me now, I guess. A rope. Alright, perfect. Cool. Well, that, that's not gonna work then, I guess. What about this tree right here? Well, that's not gonna work. Hey, big guy. Give me a hand here. No, what about the axe? Axe. Aha! <laughs> yes, can I help you, sir? Okay, well, well, that that works, I suppose. Let him so chuff of himself. Oh. 
Or is it gonna... No, okay, I thought maybe it would break halfway or something. Over here, buddy. Thank you. Are you gonna be a dick? <laughs> yep, you're also gonna be doing that. That's great. But, looks like it may have formed a bridge down there. Okay, well, I've got a feeling we're not gonna be able to just cross this bridge. Someone's gonna do something to ruin this for me. I'm telling you. This dress. Here we go. And there we go. It doesn't actually look that deep over there. Like, as if we could just walk, but I guess we cannot. There was like a little bit where there was some rocks that you looked like you could possibly walk on. All right. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. All right. The we'll... tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Okay, we have an axe. We can do that. So much responsible use of this axe. What are they doing in the background anyway? I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? <laughs> Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. Okay. Aww. So what are they doing? Alright, so... What the? Why did he grab a sword? Oh, they keep switching. <laughs> bees keep switching between them, so... One of them jumps in, then there's distress. And then one of them saves it, and then another one gets the- oh, that's great. Anyway, there's a little raft here. I guess we use the rope to tie it together. I mean, what else would we use the rope for? Look at that. It's a nice raft building right there, let's use it. Unless this little small guy now s steals this from me. I don't know how he's gonna get to me when I'm already halfway there, though. Oh. Oh, yeah, of, of course, he just walks across. I did say that there was some rocks there it looked like you'd walk on, but... Well, I guess he was smart enough to figure it out, and sadly I was not. Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? <gasps> this competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men. Like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Some nice climbing Let skills you got there, sir. Can help. Uh, a rope, perhaps? I did actually spot, yeah, some rocks over here we could probably use to climb our way up, so let us do that. Actually, probably... Can I go down still? I want to see if there's anything else here. I haven't really looked around yet. There's a mushroom right there. Can I pick that mushroom up? Oh, I can try this way as well, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, no mushroom, but... What about this? No. Alright, so, I, yeah, there's nothing here, I guess. Let's just climb up the way I originally figured out we should. Look at this jumping. Oh, man, he's quite a jumper, though. That's, that's what he's got going for him, I guess. Or, well, I would say quite the climber, but then again, he couldn't quite climb up what we were just looking at before. 
I'm guessing this is broken. It's just a wild guess. Yep, well, missing mouthpiece, not broken. Another horn and another missing piece. I didn't actually test the one on the other side, but I've got a feeling it's the same problem. Right, here we are. 